What's up, what's up, what's going on YouTube? This is C4 Destroyer from Review Dork and today I'll be giving you the tips and tricks how to become an effective Viking in the Raider class in For Honor. I'll be giving you the tips and tricks to make sure you know how to effectively use him on defense and offense and also some tips and tricks in regards to his actual armor. That and more right after this break. <laughs> So really quick, I want to touch base on the uh, Viking Raider class. Um, as you can see, he does do a lot of damage by default. He is one of those sluggers in this game. Um, and what I like to mention is the key to his success is having a decent offense, a decent defense, and also having to make sure you recover uh, easily when using your offense and blocking. So one of the big things I pay attention to is the helmet. If you look on the bottom right hand side, you see that my exhaustion recovery is a little bit higher than normal. Usually um, that line that you see where it says debuff resistance, that peak point there, that's typically the normal spot. And as you can see, I have my exhaustion recovery um, all the way up. Well, not all the way up, but for the most part, it surpassed everything else. Uh, because of this Viking class, he's very slow and he takes a lot of stamina and so forth to get his hits off and block uh, I want to make sure that my recovery is fast and that goes with the same for the um, let's see if I go to the actual arm pieces so if you go uh, to the arm pieces you'll see on mines on the bottom right hand side my stamina is almost maxed out I have about 30 percent left I concentrate on stamina regen all the time Again, the reason being is he's very sluggish. He takes a lot of stamina when doing the combos. The more stamina I have, the more often I can defend and attack the way I want to. So usually those are the two that you want to look for. On his gauntlets, you want to have high uh, stamina regen. And on the helmet, you want some exhaustion recovery just in case you uh, do exceed the stamina amount. At least you can recoup that fairly quickly. Now, as far as the... Um, the chest piece itself um, blocking damage is big for me don't worry about the sprint speed on this character because he's so big and he's slow to begin with sprint speed isn't something we really need to worry about what we need to worry about is having to defend ourselves because we are the slower characters in the bunch and also making sure that we can resist damage as you can see in the chest piece my block damage is favored overall compared to the other perks so these are the things you got to look for you got to look for making sure that you have enough stamina going with you making sure that if you run out of stamina it recuperates fast enough and you need to have that defense um, and then obviously because he is a slugger you need to complement that with the weapon um, I like to use a weapon that has an, a high attack um, don't worry about the stamina cost reduction because again if you look at the uh, the gauntlets I have the stamina regen to offset that so the gauntlets are going to offset the fact that my cost reduction on using my attacks are really low it's going to favor it's going to just set that off for us so um, what I focus in on the actual weapon itself is the attack the defense can be so so it can be pretty um, you know I say neutral or in the in the medium of everything um, and then as far as the staff itself uh, obviously what I like to concentrate is revenge gain by defense I'm gonna be playing a lot of defense I'm gonna get hit a lot um, defense is what's gonna work in my favor to get into revenge mode I use defense to set up the offensive part and then if you look at this little piece here um, if you look at the bottom again revenge gained by injury so if I defend I have a probability of getting my uh, revenge mode intact and running and also if I get hit that also works in my favor as well so you can see I've pretty much peaked him up to being a defensive um, player but again I on my actual weapon the tip of the axe head itself I concentrated on the attack so it's pretty well balanced, you know, that's what you got to look for. Speed isn't that important, he isn't fast to begin with, but offensive defense, you have to learn how to even that out and uh, decrease the stamina cost that may take place when you're doing your moves and blocking at the same time. So with that being said, uh, you have an idea of how 
my Viking is set up as the Raider. Uh, we'll put it to the test and I'll show you exactly how to put everything together when going against other players, AI, no matter what game type, um, a duel, or if you're pay playing Dominion, uh, I'll teach you how to use him effectively with this setup. Now when playing the Viking, you definitely don't want to be doing this around the game. Um, we are one of the slower characters in the game, and with that being said, there's a lot of other faster characters that can catch up to us. So as soon as you do see an enemy, honestly, you're probably going to want to lock on with the left trigger. Now once we've locked on, you definitely want to master blocking. Blocking will be our best friend to give us an opportunity to decide when's the best opportunity to attack. So in order to block effectively, you just want to match the character's guard. If his weapon is facing to the right, use the right stick and put it to the right. To the left, if it's to the left, and up top if it's up top like that. Uh, as long as you match, you shouldn't have a problem blocking whatsoever. Once you've mastered blocking, you want to learn how to parry, which allows us to use the character's momentum into our favor. Um, so really quick, that is a parry right there. In order to parry, all you have to do is match the character's guard, and when the direction blinks red on your screen, just hit the heavy um, trigger, which is our trigger. Parry again. And you want to keep doing that until you have an opportunity. Usually when you parry, you will have an opening to do some damage. So I'll show you what I mean. That's an example of learning how to parry and then attacking immediately after. Always when you parry, there will be an opening for you to attack. You use that to your advantage every time if possible. And then execute like this. Bam! In your face, break your neck. But, but all in all, when using the Viking, yes. Use the block, parry when you can, and then when you have an opening attack another way to get a great opening is to use his quick moves that are available to the viking now we are the one of the slowest characters in the game so to use his two fastest moves you want to pair up a which allows us to dodge with x which is a guard break if you hit up towards your opponent and then hit a and then x you will not only lunge forward but you'll break their guard at the same time and it's a very quick move as long as you can land it. So quickly we'll show you how to break their guard really fast. And that's how you break their guard. And we'll do it again up towards your opponent. A and X. Boom. Lay two moves and then get out. You see, if you want, you can go hand with the heavy attacks, but you're just risking that he may recover a little bit faster than anticipated. So you can also um, not really break their guard, but go on an, I guess, off offensive, defensive attack, I guess, if that makes sense. Um, and the same way we use the up A and X to break their guard, um, we can do that with a light attack. So to do that, you hit up A and RB. That'll stream everything together to do that. It's like an offensive defensive tactic, I guess. Once you do that, it knocks them off their feet, dazes them a little bit, and it does some damage. Unlike the, the break guard one, which doesn't do too much damage. It just breaks their guard. So now we know the defensive part of the game, and I'm giving you some light on the offense, how to use some defensive um, techniques to actually go offensive. Um, but really quick, I like to just go over the uh, how to chain the uh, the attacks together. I've mentioned light attack, which we'll do. You just hit uh, R1, 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 or for Xbox, um, RB, RB, RB. And what happens is if you time them just right, it has to be timed. As soon as you land one hit, you have to hit it again. If you do it too early, it will not work. So let's do the first, um, the simple attacks. One, two, three. So that's as far as you're going to get as far as the light attacks. Then you have the heavy attacks. As long as you time them, as soon as you make the hit, it'll stream together as well. One, two, three. 
And then the combo to mix the both uh, both buttons together, you have to RT, RB, RT, or R2, R1, R2. So those are the three chain moves you can use, and all you have to do is mix and match them with other moves such as the quick jab, um, the defensive jab I've gone over just recently um, to break their guard, or you can just break their guard and do it that way. So boom, one, two, three, or boom, one, two, three. Now one thing I like to mention, if you can get two lands on any character, that you're going up against and follow through with an unblockable attack which will be rbrt or r1 r2 it will do a substantial amount of damage that'll give you the upper hand on a one-on-one -on -one battle so really quick just to give you an idea i'm gonna do two light attacks and an unbreakable so you can see you can do a lot of damage as long as you hit the two regular hits uh with the unbreakable or two heavy hits with the unbreakable um and you, all you have to do is break their guard one two and then this boom and then you'll be in like Flynn with that. Um, now, one thing I like to mention is that the Raider Viking is a grapple type of character. So if you're by bridges or if you see that you're by a cliff, uh, take advantage of the fact that you can easily press X and throw him overboard if possible. Or if it's to the left of you, if you hit X and use the directional pad at the same time and hit X, he'll push him over that way. Whatever direction you point to, that's what he'll do. So hit X, left, and then boom, throw to the left. Well, that's pretty much it. Um, those are the tips and tricks to help you along with becoming efficient using the uh, Viking Raider. Um, I'll quickly give you the tips and tricks in numeric form so you can quickly remember exactly how to effectively use them while you play your game. So rule number one, you definitely want to play defense first and find an opening when it is available. Rule number two, when that opening does come, uh, definitely use an unbreakable attack or a heavy uh, as quickly as you can. Rule number three, you definitely don't want to run around all about. You definitely want to be locked down. We are the slower characters. So, you, you know, you want to make sure that you're on guard at all times because they will catch up to you. He's not that fast to begin with unless you have the boots uh, perk to run a lot faster than anyone else. Uh, and then rule number four, um, when you can, try to chain the attacks in sets of threes ending with the uh, unbreakable because that will do a lot, a lot of damage. And that will give you the upper hand on a one-on-one -on -one duel. And then, you know, if you're lucky, you'll be able to finish them off and stream another uh, three-hit combo on the next opponent if they're close enough. And next thing you know, you're, you're on a rampage. So uh, that's pretty much it for me. Let me know what you think. Hit us up on the comment section if you have any better uh, tips to let other players know how to effectively use the uh, Raider Viking. Um, like, share, subscribe. Let us know what you think. This is C4 Destroyer from Review Dork. I'm out.